It is my honor to be in the company of officially the last four rock stars <laughs> on earth. You are called the last rock stars. Yoshiki, you and I go way back. I know. We, we've done the X, but why don't, I don't know if I've actually ever had a chance to formally um, meet the uh, rest of you. Um, actually, I did meet you at the Grammy Museum recently, but why don't we introduce everybody for the people watching this on Yahoo who may not be familiar with all of you? Okay, let me say something first. Sure. Okay, uh, first of all, thank you so much for you know ha having us. Thank of course, you. thank I you. Mean, you know, of course, I've known you for a long time. Um, thank you. Though. Okay, so why don't you start? Yeah. So I think this is my first time to meet you. Yes. So my name is Miyavi. I play the guitar. And, um, you know, I'm such an honor to meet you and also being in band, this band of such a legendary rock stars in Japan. And we have a kind of common purpose to work the whole world with our music. So uh, such an honor to be here. Amazing. Well, it's an honor to speak with you as well. Thank you so much. Sugizo. Nice to meet you. This is Sugizo. I'm a guitarist and a violinist. And uh, yes, I'm so excited to be here. I actually think you and I met before. I think yeah. when I interviewed uh, Yoshiki at the Grammy Museum, Grammy, you surprised Grammy me. Museum. Oh, okay. You surprised okay. me on stage with Wes Borland from Limp yeah, Bizkit. Right. Oh, yeah. That was a fun surprise. So yeah, we have met a little bit, but you know, I've never actually interviewed you. This mm -hmm. is a whole new project. And then we have. And yeah, I'm also, hi, I'm nice to meet you. I'm a high singer. Yes, I actually saw you play somewhere in downtown LA. I don't remember the name of it. Yoshiki, you were there kind of behind the soundboard. Yes, yes, yes. When Hyde was playing the solo tour in Los Angeles. Yes. That's, uh, and you covered Ordinary I... World by Duran Duran. I remember that. <laughs> Big Duran Duran fan, so I was I was pleased. And my friend Mercy, who Yoshiki knew, was at that show as well. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I have ties, um, uh, you know, very aware of all your history and stuff. So maybe not everyone in America understands the magnitude of the fact the four of you are coming together to form a full-on supergroup. Like I said, it's called The Last Rock Stars. Um, I guess the very first obvious question, uh, now the introductions are out of, out of the way, is how did this come together? Yoshiki, I think you've been working on this for a while because the last time I <laughs> spoke with you was about a year ago and you were like, oh, I'm working on something, but I can't say right, what right. it is. I think it was this. So how did this come together? A long time in the making. Okay, I don't think I introduced myself as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I assumed <laughs> I'm everybody. Sorry, no. You guys keep everyone here. <laughs> I thought, okay. I thought okay. you didn't need an introduction. Why don't you go I ahead? Yes, from, yeah, my bad. Okay. Hi, this is Yoshiki. Yes. <laughs> so I'm the, you know, coming from the band, uh, ex Japan, right? Yes. Say drums and piano. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of them. Yes. And I met songs. you originally through X Japan, through the movie We Are X, which is about X Japan. I recommend everybody see that. It gives a really great context to Visual K and all the all the groups that have been influenced by you and by X Japan and your back history. And um, I think some of you may have even appeared in that film in, in some ways. So, um, right. but, so okay. you all have ties that go way back. Yes, uh, you're talking about, right, band members, right? Yes, um, you know, they have been great friends of mine. Also, you know, I really respect Miyagi, Tai, Shinzo, like, you know, as a musician as well. You know, I'm so lucky to be to know them. So we were, we have been talking about, had been talking about, you know, doing something together. I didn't know it's going to be this scale. I'm like, you know, sometimes jam, jamming each other, rocking, you know, some like, you know, collaboration or something like that. Then, you know, year has passed. They actually hide is the one that said, you know, can we just do it? <laughs> like, you know, because if I had not playing drums, I'm going to, you know, keep on <laughs> He worked with me playing drums, but I was like, wow, you know, that's such an, I am grateful for him to be saying, I'm going to see you playing drums. Like, so then, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, everything just you know, jump started. Then, yes. wow, well, here we are, you know, we are playing the uh, first, first uh, debut right. show the first in several one. hours, right? Very first one. Very first one. Right yes. here where this interview is, is happening is where the show's going to take place. Yes. yes. Where, where are you guys at right now? We are in Tokyo, uh, called Aria K Arena. It's about 12,000 something like that. Wow. Yeah, people. Yeah, we're going to be playing several days. 
uh, today, uh, tonight, tomorrow night. Also, we're gonna have other places in Tokyo. Also, actually, you know what? So that's why we are going to New York right after mm -hmm. these shows. Yeah, um, and I'll see you in Los stage. Angeles, the yeah, Hollywood yeah, Palladium. Going to Palladium as well. So yeah, we, you know, in terms of the New York show, we just added uh, another night. Very cool. Very so, cool. February. So. so when did this go from sort of being something that you all just talked about to being a thing? And also, why these four members from the visual case scene? Like, how did it come to be you four? You know, coming from Japan, you know, J-Rock, J-Pop, then around, um, you know, then recently, not recently, like, you know, there are a lot of amazing K-pop artists taking over, you know, over the world, which we really respect, you know, I completely respect. So, yeah, you know, we are also trying to go global. So, again, we kind of accomplished, you know, in terms of being in Japan, like, uh, you know, arena or stadium, or like that. So also, you know, I've been living in the for the past 30 years, pretty much. So then, you know, I want, you know, basically, I would like to bring all those talent get together, you know, together. It's like kind of mm -hmm. Avengers, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> uh <-huh>. right? <laughs> Absolutely. So I have to ask why, you know, I made a little bit of a joke about this at the beginning of the interview, but, you know, you're the last rock stars. That's the name of the group. Last rock stars. <laughs> Sum a bit tongue in cheek, but you know, forever people have been saying rock is dead. People have been saying that since like the 80s. I don't, they've been saying it for a long time. Right, right. But people keep saying it. I don't necessarily agree with it, but you know, rock isn't necessarily as big a genre on the charts, at least here in America, mm -hmm. as it once was. So what's the story behind calling yourselves that? Okay. The last rock stars. Mm -hmm. I know such a bold man to yeah. name a band. Well, we're not trying to be conceited or anything. Just you know, we are still very humble. Um, yes, rock has never been dead, right? Rock's been always around. But you know what I'm saying? Like a kind of like a I don't know. We just wanna bring that crazy rock scene again. I mean, you don't have to contribute to stimulate that scene. You know what I'm saying? There are amazing mm -hmm. rock artists around the world, everywhere. So there we are, you know, you want to be part of that, uh, you know, bands to bring that scene back to the main, well, rock's very mainstream as well, but you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned the documentary that came out in, wow, it's already been a while, in 2016, crazily enough, mm -hmm. uh, We Are X. And in that, you know, there's a lot of talk about the fact that the reason why X Japan, your band Yoshiki, maybe didn't break in America as much as hoped, you know, was because of a language barrier. You know, Gene Simmons talks about that in the documentary. There's like this old uh, footage of a, of a press conference you do with Jason Flom. <laughs> and, there, you know, I, I wonder, you know, obviously, you know, what I've heard of The Last Rock Stars is in English, but I'm wondering, do you think it would be different now? You talk about wanting to go global now, because I look at a band who is a rock band, Monoskin, who yes. often sing in Italian. They do sing in English, but they're huge here, and they, and they <laughs> were initially huge here singing in Italian. BTS is huge here. They, you know, were huge well before they started releasing singles in English and same with a lot of other K-pop bands. So I feel like maybe now it's a more receptive time, you know, but I'm curious about all of your thoughts, but particularly you, 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 Yoshiki, about the fact that it was a barrier then. Gene Simmons said you would have been the biggest band in America if you had sung in English at that time, if, if uh, Toshi had. Well, that's a pretty, you know, profound question. You know, it's like, uh, you know, being <laughs> Japanese or being Asian or being, you know, um, I, yeah, that's a very good question though. Um, Thanks. yes, if there, if there are at war, there's a war between East and West, blah, 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 or language barrier, I think war are getting lower and thinner, I think, you know what I'm saying? So war to divide. Whatever, you know. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if you can speak English, that's good too. But 
I don't think it's not necessarily. It's like a, I know, I know, it's kind of a cliche, but uh, music is universal language, right? So, yeah, actually, the, the, our first single called "The Last Rockstars," you know, uh, happened to be the same name of the uh, band. So we used a line called "Biggie Ding, Biggie Ding, Bam, Bam, Bam." That's mm -hmm. like a, I created the language, so it's like a, sounded sounded good. So it's like a, you know, so I think melody is important, and then. But I think so, yeah, okay, you know, to answer your question, I think, yeah, it's time. It's time. Well, you mentioned about going global. Um, is that something that's still like, I mean, I, I imagine it's a dream of all of yours, but is it still um, a dream of yours, Yoshiki? And I, of course, don't mean to discount the success you've had here. You've played Madison Square Garden here. It's not like you've not had success here. It's just not on the same level that you've had in Japan or some other countries, is the cliche of breaking America <laughs> still like a dream that you, you all have? I mean, you know, you can keep dreaming, but we will make that dream come true. Yeah, also, you know, it's not only our dream. It's like a, a fan's dream, right? So mm. each member of like their own fans, you know, they, including myself then we are just doing, trying to achieve that, you know, goal with our fans. So it's then, you know, again, uh, not only fans from Asia or Japan, but seen around the world. So it's kind of cool to break some kind of like boundary again, you know? <laughs> I think it's we not something like we're like, oh, we're gonna do this. No, no, we want to do this. It's like a very, you know, well, I think we talked about this a bit at the Grammy Museum when I was with you two on stage with Wes Borland, um, who was really evangelizing X Japan. And how is he doing? How is he doing? I haven't talked to him since then. Really? Since he was on, but I remember at that time because I didn't, you know, he was just so happy to be on stage, and that was completely unplanned. Yeah, he was really right. evangelizing you. It was right before you guys were. It was like that week between the two X Japan Coachella shows, and. Um, he was sort of talking about how like fans of, of Visual K, fans of X Japan, of uh, Lunacy, whatever, they they want to sort of, in America I'm talking about, they want to like kind of go up to people and be like, check this out. Like, <laughs> you know, they're, they want to be like the cheerleaders or the publicists because it's kind of, for some people, kind of a, a well-kept secret. So I'm, the reason I'm bringing that up is when you're talking about how it's a dream for the fans, your fans, um, can you elaborate a little bit about that? How they kind of like, they'll feel vindicated with every success that this project has. Well, first of all, you know, the uh, Wes Boland, uh, first time he performed, I invited him to play for Japan for three nights, you know. Uh, also, Richard Fortas from Guns N' Roses. So that's you now over 10 years ago, anyway. So, you know, uh, it was such a great fall for us to play. Tell me a little bit more about why it's so important to your fans to have this break America or be successful. Mm. I mean, fine for the reason, you know, each one of us are still here. You know what I'm saying? We are, so, you know, also, we have the best fans around the world. <laughs> I mean, in the world, <laughs> if I may say. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, you know, okay, that rock stuff, that we are the rock stars not only applying to us. So you guys are all rock stars. You know, as long as you are living, so why don't we live like a rock star's lifestyle? I mean, uh, mentally, it doesn't have to be like actual, you know. Sick. Well, why not? You know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. Like, we are, we are doing this together. It's not, we are, uh, you know, we are doing this, just follow us. Okay. Just let's do this together. That's the mentality. Because of the, they are as important as, you know, everything, you know, where we could feel what, uh, you know, we, yeah. So I mentioned Coachella a minute ago. I do have to, I think we may have talked about this before, but I, I wonder if the chance for uh, the last rock stars to play in Los Angeles, at the Palladium, mm -hmm. the New York shows you're doing, is that going to be any way to sort of make up for, the Coachella situation, because, you know, 
I felt kind of bad when, you know, I know it was a very big dream that you guys have been pushing for for a long time to play Coachella, for X Japan to play Coachella. And then you got put in the worst possible time slot of that <laughs> weekend. You were playing opposite Beyonce. Let's go. Cool. Let's do it. I mean, yeah. I went to both. I watched you guys yeah. and then I ran over to Beyonce. I just want to let you know that. But um, it was not a good spot to be in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, obviously, like, the audiences aren't exactly the same. And you were one of the few rock bands even playing Coachella that year. But not as many people got to see you guys as should have. So I, I'm wondering if you could take me back to, you know, any disappointment that you're going to be able to make up for by returning now with this super group. Well, on the downside of, you know, playing the same time, you know, where the, like, Beyonce was playing the time or in terms of time, was like, we could not, I couldn't see Beyonce's show, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right. But, but um, otherwise, we have uh, so many rock fans showed up. It was such a, you know, grateful moment. And then, you know, and for sure, we you know, love to play, you know, some festival, you know, around the world, you know, including you know, that kind of festival, or, of course, you know, for the future. Um, yeah, then also, you know, I don't know if I, if I may say, so, you know, uh, this year, uh, Blackpink is headlining Coachella. I thought mm -hmm. it was amazing, you know, um, I happened to know Jose, so I kind of like, you know, in social media, and everything, but just, I was like, very, very happy. Wow. So they are coming from Asia and then playing a headlining Coachella. So, wow. Yeah, they are the first Coachella headliner of any genre of music to come from any part of Asia yeah. to be headlining Coachella, which is a really, a really I big deal. I thought that's so cool, you know. So basically, anything is possible. You know, again, these boundaries are getting like, well, you know, depends on what kind of, you know, subject, right? But in terms of music, in the art, artistic world, we are getting closer. So, then, less boundaries, less walls. So going back to The Last rock stars and the fact that you're in the venue where you'll be performing live very soon, uh, what can we expect from your performances and from this tour, which is coming to the U.S. soon? Like I said, it will be February 10th at the Palladium. I'll be there in Hollywood. What can we expect yeah. from your live show as a as a super group? Um, yeah, also, you know, New York, February, right, right. February third and fourth. Okay, Especially cool. third that we just added the show. Uh, also, we just announced the opening act for US shows. Yes, uh, the uh, band called The Bandmate. Uh, good friend of mine, they are amazing, you know. Cool. Amazing so, yeah, so yeah, actually, they have been playing in America several years active so it's really good um um yeah you know amazing band um what do you got, what do you expect from our show <laughs> uh gonna yes. you're gonna be blown you're gonna be blown away <laughs> I, I, do i concede it no, no i mean <laughs> it is good. sell it man promote yourself okay trying to be modest <laughs> but yes uh we have we are you know, still very raw, you know, it's, we just did, again, we did this cross show, you know, and, but, right, I'm gonna, you, you'll be shocked. <laughs> you'll be shocked, you'll be shocked. Okay. I can't wait, I can't wait. Well, in, in, love... in, a, in a good way. No, so in the best it's like possible way. Parallel universe ex existed, ex existing. So now, though you're always doing universe, it's gonna be colliding, you know what I'm saying? So, wow, well, we're not even talking about it, I can I still get very excited. I'm very much ready to be shocked. I would love to ask the other three of you, any, yes. any of you want to answer um, in terms of, you know, working with Yoshiki and, you know, I'm not sure of all your ages or whatever, but like presumably being very influenced by what he, you know, laid the groundwork for with X Japan. Like, tell me, you know, your feelings or thoughts about being part of this project and, and you know, how he or X Japan influenced you. Um, I go first. So uh, again, I'm such an honor to be in this band, you know. And then um, to to answer your question, I believe the rock is dead. I think the other genre, rock is actually has been dead, but the 
rock is not as music in general is more like an attitude you need for your life and how you uh, you know go over the hard circumstances in your life and then he's the one actually you know one of a kind that kind of kept rocking and just brought the rock music to Japan you know as a lifestyle and then I've been you know touring America as well as a musician but he's the one who I really respect the musician as a rock artist and then you can't rock the world with just playing music you gotta be you know you gotta walk so hard you know on stage on stage that's what he's been doing so uh, yeah rock is a lifestyle yeah it is and um, again black things a lot of asian acts people are kind of open the door and then i truly feel this is a perfect timing to walk the world for the japanese and this is not only our dream it's also the all the japanese people or mm -hmm. you know, non kind of native speaker you no know, native uh, english speakers three in america so, and he's I think without him, uh, I wouldn't be here. You know, none of us would be here. Aww. I mean, you know, we didn't get uh, together. He's the leader. He's leading us. That's why I'm I here. do want to cry now. But <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's, we still have time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, many makeup artists. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I respect him. And, Same. Uh, uh, I mean, we have a big purpose. Share. Awesome. Yeah, yes, I'm very excited because anytime he gave me a big, big street, big street, and uh, yes, this 15 years I played music with him. 15? 15. Already? 15 years. But we know each other like 30 years. Yes. Yeah, yes. before we are born. <laughs> oh, yeah, we married my cousin still too. Yes. Yes, 15 years we were together. Wow. Yes, it's anytime it's very, very exciting. Uh, very, his musical level is very high. I mean, anytime I should practice, I should study music. And it's so happy because maybe I'm, I'm not a beginner. I'm not a much of that. His level is very high. I should follow him. It's very good to me. And the most important thing is when we play music, I really think that time has come. Rock is back. I think it's feeling very important. And I want to say that uh, the rock stars uh, strikes back. <laughs> 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 yeah, she got it. She I'm into it. Yeah. yeah, yes, completely. <laughs> you can tell. I know. Yes, Lindsay is a rock star. Oh, thank. <laughs> wow, if you say that. Hi, did yeah. you want to add anything to? And then hide. Anything? <laughs> 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 He's <laughs> <laughs> saying that he's blown into this my chaotic world. What is a chaos? Chaos. But in chaos. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Huge chaos. Huge chaos. Huge but in, you know, in a, in a good, I hope it's in a good way. So yeah, very chaotic. But again, there's a fine line between very chaotic and very stimulating. I like chaos. That's yeah. fine with me. Well, good I'm curious. Chaos. Good chaos. I'm good curious. Chaos. That would be a good name for the album, by the way, which sets up my question. You know, we is there an album planned? I've heard some music. <laughs> Obviously, I don't you know, you have a whole concert tour plan. So I assume you're going to be playing a lot of originals. I don't know if you'll also be playing music from your respective bands. What's like, well, first of all, I'll, that's a two part question from the tour. Yes. Will you be playing? What kind of music will you be playing? Will it be a mix of all your bands or? OK. First of all, um, also, you know, please watch our first single video. So we just released, or just, you know, concerning the same type of last year stuff. Um, so we, you know, I mean, and maybe that was also to answer this question. <laughs> you know, having been saying, you know, um, I've released the extra bands, you know, I've been doing something else, I stopped counting anyway. But 
Okay, okay, yes, we are working on the album. Uh, then influenced by, you know, each one of them are amazing, amazing like uh, palette and then sense of direction and everything. So we are trying to combine it, you know, I, you know, Miyabi has such an amazing like uh, dance groove and everything, you know, he's also, you know, I'm not, I'm not I'm kind of talking about everything, you know, about he has a slaps, kind of, Slap style. Slap style. So he's bringing uh, not only his like uh, composition, but he's also bringing that you know technique, but that kind of style into our band. Oh, Sigizo has been you know you know being Sigizo. He also plays violin and it's you know, very uh, electric, like uh, electric pop feeling as well. You know, and Hyde has a lot of I don't. No, like a very rock style as well as like a kind of new wave style, and you know it's a it's very interesting to even I've known them for a long time, but if we started working together, the depth of their talent is just I was like you know, but since you say uh, he 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 can learn from me. Uh, same here, I I I've been learning from Sizo Hyde already. You know, I'm just I've been I'm amazed how those members are talented so we are kind of like a, you know creating the album yes for sure then so will you be <laughs> previewing playing you know will we hear a lot some music from that album at on this tour okay. that you're doing okay so please this put it this way tonight so over 50 percent songs are new new songs awesome. yeah so we are playing 15 16 17 songs tonight. Yeah, then also we, uh, you know, we have the, uh, you know, some of the extra canción might uh, gonna be over the some of the extra canción, the song, you know. Vamp uh, songs? Song. Yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, I just remembered, I, I saw the vamps at the El Rey. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, so I, she's I, a vamp. Yeah, oh, it, is, yeah, yeah it was the yeah. night before the election of 2016, so I remember. <laughs> I remember where <laughs> that, I was. That, that's, that's funny. I was at the El Rey. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Actually, you know, they have been touring around the world. Mm -hmm. As Miyabi, as Hyde, as I know, dance, yeah. Or or So, yeah, it's, it's I, very natural and organic for us to get together and move forward. Absolutely. I actually think the last question that I'll ask then is: I did, as I've mentioned, I've seen some of you guys perform in other contexts or whatever. But I think the first time I saw any of you perform like at least three of, of you perform was at the visual japan summit which was in 2016 oh, yes. october 2016 i came out for that in tokyo that was amazing i discovered you know i got to see some bands that i knew about i discovered a lot of bands i didn't know about with this project happening and increasing awareness for all your bands and certainly for x japan because of the film and the internet and just as we were talking sort of the the growing people being more into rock music people being more into music that isn't necessarily in english in the western world can we have a visual japan summit in america with all those bands including the last rock stars like i think that'd be a lot of fun the answer is why not there you go let's do it <laughs> let's let's can do it. Sorry, is that um, is that F word allowed? This it's allowed. Right? Oh, yeah, it's, allowed. Yeah. Is that it's rock and roll, yeah. babe. You're a last rock star. You can do it. Okay, it's why the fine. Not. <laughs> All right, I like that answer. But I mean, in the meantime, we're kind of having a visual Japan summit with just the four of you um, mm. together. So I'm I'm real excited to see the show. Like I said, I'll be at the show on February 10th at the Palladium in Hollywood. Uh, can you mention the other dates you're doing? Yes. Uh, yes. Again, so in America, I mean, Japan, we are playing four arena shows starting today. Uh, in America, February 3rd, just at it, that's the, you know, the show. So a ticket might be still available. Uh, fourth, February 4th, so that February 10th in the Sunday. So that, uh, yes, um, you know, please, you know, come and see us. So you don't have to ask me. Are you coming to New York too? Uh, Lindsay. Are you, are you coming? 
Uh, it's gra it's unfortunately Grammy weekend, so I don't oh, think I'll be able to. I'll be out here covering Grammy. the Grammys, but I wouldn't yes, miss yes. the one in LA. I absolutely mm -hmm. wouldn't miss it. I'm I'm really excited um, yeah, to please. see you guys together and see what you bring. Um, I know that you took a break from your rehearsal for these important shows in Tokyo to speak with me, and so the honor is mine. I am honored, but I should probably let you go so you could prepare for your big debut. Um, I'm real excited and uh, good luck, break a leg, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you so thank much you. for having us. You know, then I'm really looking forward to play in America as well. We, we are, we are. Yeah. It's going to be a good I'm time. It's an honor to be playing with amazing artists. I mean, uh, talents. And then, I'm yes, ready to be shot. Rock the fuck out of I'm ready Did to be I right? Did I say, is that it's, fun, right? I was just going to say, I'm ready to be shocked in a good way. Chaos. <laughs> Chaos. Yeah, All right. Nice. Thank you so much, guys. This was a good time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Lindsay.